sorry, uh, somebody wanted to raise their vote, raise their hands or something. Can you hear me? I think Beverly wanted to say something, and I don't know if she did not uh, unmute herself. Okay, yeah, this uh, yeah, this Katya here, and Beverly. Okay, I don't see Beverly. Beverly is not mute. Yes, please, you may speak. You may speak. Your voice is, is low. Sorry for that. Uh, I had no opportunity to be inside now. Mm -hmm. oh, did you, were you asking a question, Katya? Okay, I don't think she was. Um... Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Were you asking a question? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Actually, there was a question whether my future uh, marriage is like uh, to create something with this person or to destroy my future plans or something like that. Yes. Uh, the question was um, the the expectations that you have for marriage. What do you think, what, what effect, what impact do you think that will have on your relationship, on your marriage, your expectations? How, yes, how um, mm -hmm. for, for sure, I, I, I sincerely want uh, my marriage to be like, uh, um, you know, creation of something new. And uh, um, I, I don't want to, um, but you know, it's really hard for me because uh, I understand that um, to find such a person, to have the same um, aim, to the same, you know, uh, it's really hard. And I wish I I found I, I would found this person, um, but but I don't know uh, whether it happens or not. Uh, and you know, it's very really hard now to find um, a person who believes in God, who sincerely believes in God. I, uh, in uh, it's at least in my circle, and uh, for sure I I wish uh, I I would like to find him, but I don't know whether it uh, happens or not. Maybe I will be alone for all my life, with the, not alone but with uh, my belief in God. For sure I understand, um, but actually it's only my opinion. That's why I, I think that it's a rather difficult question. Mm. Just for now. Thank you Thank so you. much, Ekaterina. You will definitely find there is nothing impossible with God. He said, ask and it shall be given to you. Normally what people do by faith is to write down the expectations of what or how the man should be or the wife should be. And then they uh, present their prayer to God. Lord, I need somebody who believes in God. And God will definitely bring someone. He has so many of his sons who are looking for wives out there. And they are also saying the same thing. Every man and every woman of God wants someone who can believe in God as well. Because when things, they going to get tough, then God comes in the picture. So thank you so very much. I can see that Namases also wanted to say something. Maybe she can come in now. Thank you. Is no one is there? Beverly. Beverly. That's Beverly Opera. 
not okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other person, please, before we conclude? It's very important to speak because yeah. others are yeah. listening to me. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, I'm speaking from Kenya, and uh, what I wanted to say is that to young people or those who are aspiring to maybe join the matrimony, uh, I remember the case of Isaac. It's not necessarily for you to know physically, but then you can really focus and pray to God. Because I remember the case of Isaac, the shepherd intervened, he prayed, and then the answers were to the marks, I mean, exact as they were. So always just anybody, a bit a, a woman or a young man or whatever, they want to enter into it. So long as there is no sin, you just trust God and pray. God is very faithful to answer all prayers. Yes, thank you so much. That is what I wanted to say. And then there is this, this notion that young people normally nowadays, they, they kind of, especially the women, <laughs> They look for those people that have already established uh, they're driving big cars, you know, they're earning well, you know. You meaning you're seeking the physical part of it, but then it's not spiritual. And by that, you can fall for anything that comes away. And once you enter it, you can't you can't move out. And so when now the the the, the turmoil, the hardship will be coming on it now, you'll be crying alone because you went physical, you never sought God. Thank you so much. Amen. This is Pastor Silas from. Thank you so much, Pastor Sailor. Yes, uh, you say especially young women, but the women will say especially men. <laughs> so let's <laughs> let us all be warned. Don't look for outward appearance, mm -hmm. and don't look for the um, possessions. Look for God in anybody. Because it's only God who can help in a relationship when they go and get stuff. Thank you so much for participation. I think we we have all said what we needed to say. We are going to give over to Bishop. Then after the short break, we will come back for co effective communication and marriage. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. I uh, will just take um, five minutes break. We'll just uh, have a five minute uh, music break. And then uh, after that, uh, the Blessed Senior Archbishop will continue with the next topic of uh, communication, all right? Is that fine? Is that fine? Amen. Amen. All right, great. Yes. Wonderful. Let's take a half break too. <laughs> communication. <laughs> 